your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Hello and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Thanks for joining us. Topping our news this hour, construction is underway at the Venice Airport. Ramps are being ripped up and rebuilt to allow for better airplane safety at the airport. ABC 7's Christopher Bradley shows us what we can expect moving forward. It's a busy scene at the Venice Airport as construction crews and pilots share the same space. Where we're standing here and looking out towards this way, we're um, removing and rehabilitating, reconstructing all the old Army Air Corps uh, ramp. The original concrete was laid in the early 1940s when Venice Airport was used by the United States Army as a training base. The 12-inch thick concrete is being removed and recycled. We're bringing that back in and using that for the base course under the new asphalt. So um, we're saving, you know, not only are we recycling the concrete, but we're also saving environmentally by not trucking it away. The project costs four and a half million dollars and is largely being paid for through a Federal Aviation Administration grant. 90% FAA money, 5% uh, uh, FDOT money, and 5% airport fund money. Next to the ramp is the shell of a new airplane hangar. The airport has an extensive waiting list for its existing hangars. The new one will provide 14 additional spots for pilots to rent. Assuming it'll be full based on that, that waiting list, um, that'll be about $88,000 a year to the uh, airport fund. That project, too, is receiving outside financial help. It's costing $1.4 million, but 80% of it is being funded by the state. It's pretty disruptive, but on the other hand, it's uh, really valuable. Pilots like Paul Holloway say they're glad the work is being done, especially new tie-downs that are being built. That way, plane owners can secure the aircraft to the ground in the event of high winds. People have had to move their airplanes out to other parking spaces, but they've done a great job. And I don't think you hear any complaints at all from the pilots and the tenants here. That's ABC 7's Christopher Brantley reporting from Venice. Well, after months of negotiations and picketing, the Sarasota County School District and Teachers Union have reached an agreement regarding contracts. Those two-year contracts cover teachers and what the district refers to as classified employees. Teachers will get their raise based on performance evaluations. Highly effective teachers will receive a 4.25% pay raise. Effective teachers will receive 3.25%. And classified employees will be given an across-the-board raise of 3.75%. We spoke with Superintendent Todd Bowden on what went into the county's new pay plan. There are other elements of pay that were brought into this. Uh, our current method of paying teachers has various ways in which they receive compensation, so it brought all of it together. We're moving away from a traditional stepped salary schedule that you find in most school districts. Uh, there's also a longevity component of the way that we pay teachers that's being incorporated into their base salary. Bowden says currently 62% of Sarasota County teachers are evaluated in the highly effective range. Well, it's the first Friday of the month, and that means music on Main and Lakewood Ranch. That's right. The party is just starting to get into full swing on Main Street and Lakewood Ranch. Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan joining us live. I tell you, they're already starting right here, right at 6 o'clock sharp. We have the Lisa Ridings Band playing some great music right here all night, and this place is rocking right now. A lot of people here, as opposed to last month when the rain and cold was around. Boy, people are coming out. I can still see them coming across the street here, getting their seat. A lot of vendors all helping the police, the police athletic league of Manatee County. Let's go to the map to show you what's happening right now. 67 degrees. Uh, not bad. 67 and the new point 58. North winds are at 12 right now. The pressure 30, 15 and that is still high. It's getting bumped around a little bit but get a look at this gorgeous weather out on the beaches today too. Perfect. And the groundhog again saw his shadow today. That means six more weeks of winter. If it's like this we'll take it. I said that earlier. Heck we'll take the next 8, 10, 12, 15, whatever you want. Uh, it's beautiful out there today, and it looks like it'll stay that way for the most part on Saturday. Temperatures will warm into the mid 70s on Sunday. Uh, again, looks as though we will see that little line of clouds moving down the uh, state there. Well, that's associated with a weak frontal system, a weak cold front that did bring some rainfall. 
over North Florida earlier. No rain associated with it. We are expecting the rain to return, though, here along the Sun Coast on late Sunday afternoon. We'll have much more on that, obviously, coming up a little bit later. But you can just get a look at all the people here. How are you? Good seeing you. A lot of Philly fans, too, hanging out. Philly fans. I haven't seen any Patriots fans yet, but they're all getting ready for the big Super Bowl. we got a super time out here right now. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Bob. We'll check back in with you shortly. A Northport police standoff ended peacefully today. Police say a man was found passed out in his mother's driveway. The woman told police her son was not welcome at her home. After it was discovered he had a gun, she called police. When authorities arrived, the man was inside the home with his brother. It took a while for police to make contact with the men inside the home. Once they did, the two men eventually came outside. And we cleared the house. Everybody's safe. There's no injuries. Mom is safe. And we're um, in the early stage of the, of the investigation with, the, with our detectives right now. The Northport Police Department is working to determine why that man was at the home and to see if he meant to cause any harm. Now to our continuing coverage of a bomb threat at Northport High School today. Northport Police now saying a search of the school is complete and nothing has been found. Earlier today, students and staff were evacuated from the school and held at the Morgan Center until parents could pick them up. The school's principal says the threat was based on an anonymous message found in a bathroom stall. The investigation into who wrote that threat continues. A federal judge rules that Florida's process for restoring felons voting rights is unconstitutional. A possible fix for the broken system now in the works. As the restoration process stands now, convicted felons have to wait five to seven years after their sentence is completed and then can submit an application to the state government asking for his or her voting rights back. The Florida Executive Clemency Board decides whether or not to grant the requests essentially at their own discretion. A U.S. District Judge has ruled that that is unconstitutional. Now the Fair Elections Legal Network is working on a motion for a solution that will be submitted by February 12th. This has been a problem for a long, long time. Wait, you know, it's been, a, it's been made worse by the current administration, by Governor Scott's administration, but this process has been arbitrary and unconstitutional for a long time. This is all happening ahead of November's election where voters will decide whether or not ex-felons should automatically get their right to vote back after finishing a sentence. However, this does not apply to those convicted of murder or sex offenses. It does have to pass with 60% of the vote. Measures that could clear the way for people to carry guns at churches and other religious institutions ready to go to the House and Senate floors. Under current law, people with concealed weapons licenses can carry guns at churches, but they are barred from doing so if schools are on that property. The bills seek to address that school issue, though some details of the two proposals do differ. Crafted with an eye on a recent church massacre in Texas, the House measure would enable churches, synagogues, or other religious institutions to allow people to carry guns on property that they own, rent, lease, or borrow. The intent of the, of, the, of the law that prohibits an individual from carrying on school campuses, our presumption is, is to keep kids safe. Well, there's no kids there. They're not having school. The Senate version of the bill was changed last week and includes restrictions such as prohibition on carrying guns during school hours or when school extracurricular activities take place on the property. Both bills must be identical for final passage. Still to come tonight in your Suncoast News, Sarasota County named one of the best workplaces for commuters. We'll look at what goes into that designation. Plus a directive from Florida's governor. What changes may be on the way for how the Florida Department of Transportation handles emergency evacuations. Our nation's servicemen and women show great courage and leadership both on and off the battlefield. When they transition to civilian life, they can apply the skills and values they learned in the military to the workplace. That's why the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes is urging employers everywhere to be smart, bet on a vet. Hiring a veteran is also a great way to show your appreciation for them. To learn more, call 1-888-44-SALUTE. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G. Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. 
G. Fried Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi, I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. You know, fortunately, this was my first job out of college. So I was able to uh, come back home and work in my hometown. I wore two hats. I was sports director and I was a news anchor. Uh, I did that for a few years and then decided to go full time into news. Well, I love our team here at ABC7. We have a great mix and it really is a great mix of, of personalities, of experience that meshes really well into a really strong team. I'm Scott Dennis and I'm here for you. On the next Black Almanac. Black folks all across the nation have really had to fight to go to school. So it's so appropriate that this is a time of the year that we're stopping to pause and remembering people like Emma E. Booker because all that we have today was not always what it is. Sunday morning at 7.30 on ABC7. Sarasota County government has a new distinction it is very happy with. The county named one of the best workplaces for commuters for offering exceptional employee provided commuter benefits. ABC 7 Rick Adams joins us live from Sarasota County Administration Building with more on what this all means. Rick. Yeah, guys, Sarasota County is very proud of all this, especially with all the traffic around here. This does recognize the many commuter benefit options they do offer their employees. They include mass transit, carpooling, uh, bike repair stations, and free charging for electric cars. 14% of their employees don't drive alone to work. We offer a lot of benefits, um, and as we said, we encourage our employees. As we know, Sarasota County is getting more congested, especially this time of year. So these kinds of benefits offer alternatives for our employees that don't want to get stuck in traffic to and from work. And this is the second year Sarasota County has received this national recognition. We'll have a lot more on this coming up at 11 o'clock. We'll actually speak with another employee here. Okay, that was ABC 7's Rick Adams reporting in Sarasota. Under a directive issued today by Florida Governor Rick Scott, we will soon see some immediate and long-term improvements to help during emergencies. Following Hurricane Irma, the Florida Department of Transportation has been examining ways to help expedite evacuation routes. Now, Governor Scott has directed several improvements to begin. Some of the evacuation-related improvements to be implicated no later than June include expanding emergency shoulder use along key interstate routes installing cameras along I-75 from Ocala to the Georgia State Line, boosting usage of the Florida 511 website, and some of the fuel-related improvements to be implica implicated include identifying critical gas stations along state evacuation routes, assessing options for expanding fuel capacity, and coordinating with neighboring states on a communications plan on the movement of oversized and overweight vehicles during emergencies. Certainly all of that coming before Hurricane season. Yeah. We're going to get back out to uh, Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. He is live tonight at Music on Main in Lakewood Ranch. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. Our overall experience working with California Closets was phenomenal. 
calm, reassuring. Through happenstance, we ended up paired with our designer, Jen. She was someone who not only was patient, someone who was professional. She's become extended family. She had great insight to help direct me towards those things that could make our dreams come true. We are the Greens, and this is our California Closet story. You don't want to miss the annual Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 3rd and 4th at the Venice Community Center. It is the largest orchid show on Florida's West Coast with thousands of blooming orchids on display and for sale. You'll also find orchid growing supplies, artwork, jewelry, accessories, and free classes. Make plans now to attend the Venice Orchid Show and Sale February 3rd and 4th at the Venice Community Center. Go to VAOS.org online for more details. Choral Artists of Sarasota presents Carmina Burana in Motion. Carl Orff's choral masterpiece, Carmina Burana, bursts into life in this lavish production designed for 60 voices, three celebrated soloists, a two piano percussion ensemble, and dynamic premier choreography performed by members of Sarasota Contemporary Dance. Do not miss this lush feast of the senses. Saturday, February 3rd, 4 p.m. at Church of the Palms in Sarasota. Tickets and info are at choralartistsarasota.org or by calling 941-387-4900. So Matt told me to meet him at 7 a.m. sharp right here. It is now 7.01 a.m. You think Matt would leave without me? Hey, is Matt here? Uh, long con. Long con. Just missed him. Just missed him. All done. Mr. Sparky guarantees they're on time and the repair is free, so chop, chop. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Matt, you started without me. I finished without you, too. My life motto is keep moving. And as hard as it was when my husband passed away, I knew I had to keep doing what I love. Oops, coming. But I needed help, help with my insurance, and that's what the NAIC provides. They have resources to help you and your family make the best decision, and they'll help you to keep moving forward, just like me. Well, certainly a beautiful Friday night to get outdoors and to do something fun with the family. How about some music? To all go right. With it? Yeah, <laughs> music on Maine has it all tonight in Lakewood Ranch. Here's Bob with more. Yeah. I'll tell you what, the uh, Lisa Ridings Band is here, and we are uh, live on ABC7. Lisa, Hi, great music uh, set already. Uh, what a wonderful crowd we have tonight. Thank you. It's wonderful. And, yes. and you've played some good music. What kind of music are you playing tonight? Uh, we're going to do a little uh, classic rock, some soul, some disco some R&B, soul. And I know uh, someone special here is uh, with you tonight. Uh, your mom's out here in the audience. My mom's out in the audience and my fiance. All right, uh, she yeah. recently got married. That's, that's fantastic. Big round of applause for that right there. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Bob. I, I, now, I gotta ask you, uh, who are you going for in the Super Bowl? Um, <laughs> it's gonna have to be the Eagles. It sounds like an Eagles fan here. <laughs> A lot of Eagles cry. Well, at least I'll let you go back to the music, back Thank to the fun. So Thank you for taking time out for us and Thank appreciate you so it. Much, Bob. All right. So there you have it. Live interview right there with Lisa Ridings Band. Uh, good job, Bart. Let me get this up. Uh, Band Ways of Webcam showing beautiful weather out here tonight, much better than it was last month. Uh, you can see some clouds, high clouds, uh, creating a gorgeous sunset. There's a little weak frontal system coming down, and that weak front, by the way, is not producing very cold air behind it. So we're not looking for a big chill down uh, with this front. And you can see the satellite and radar picture showing that line of clouds and a few showers up in North Florida, but not much going on here. Uh, as a result of that front, uh, we will see nice weather, although a little cloudy, a bit cloudy on Saturday as a result of some of that you know, moisture still kind of hanging around. Well, the groundhog, yeah, the groundhog did see a shadow. I don't know how it was cloudy up there, but uh, six more weeks of winter. Uh, they were expecting a 90% chance of clouds at that time. Uh, satellite and radar picture showing Boy, nice weather today, but things are going to change on Sunday in the afternoon. Get a look at the future cast showing uh, some clouds gathering in the northeast Gulf of Mexico with an area of low pressure developing up there in the northeast Gulf. Uh, we will see some rain here. It looks like the majority of the showers and storms so will fall uh, to our north in the Panhandle of Florida and north central Florida. We are not counting on as much rain as we saw last Sunday when over an inch to three inches of rain fell across parts of west central Florida. Uh, you get the picture though, though the biggest storms by far are uh, happening over in the Panhandle. Evening planner looks like this. 
Temperatures staying mild later tonight into the low 60s by 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have partly cloudy skies and tomorrow looking pretty good too. Uh, current conditions mostly cloudy, 67, still pretty nice. North winds are at 12 and the pressure now 30, 15. Quickly, the high today was warm, 77 degrees. This morning's low was 72. Here's a look at the forecast for Saturday. A little bit cooler, but still mild. Low 70s for highs tomorrow under mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon. The Futurecast GFS showing that a cloudiness kind of hanging around throughout the day on Saturday, on again and off again. Uh, the GFS is a little weaker in the storm uh, projection and prediction. Uh, it looks like it comes through a little later too. Even so, we will get some rain out of this later in the day on Sunday. Monday, the front kind of watches through and because look at the cur uh, current temperatures, it's cold in Minneapolis. Eight degrees there right now. And as far as the forecast goes, here's the boating forecast for tomorrow. Looks to be okay. Uh, east wind's a bit brisk in the morning, but uh, shaping up pretty nicely in the afternoon at five to 10 knots. Seven day forecast looks like this. 70% chance for showers come late Sunday afternoon and into Sunday night. Clears out quite nicely on Monday and temperatures staying pretty warm into the mid 70s. And things are happening right here at Lakewood Ranch. It's the first Friday of the month and it's Groundhog Day and Lisa Riney's band jamming. We'll take it away. Back to you guys. Listen to this. All right, Bob, thanks so much. They sound great. Fun time out there in Lakewood Ranch tonight, and it goes until 9 o'clock this evening. House and Senate budget committees this week approved spending bills that are about $100 million apart in the overall totals. That's a sign that negotiations may not be as drawn out as in years past. The House Appropriations Committee has approved an $87.2 billion spending plan for the upcoming fiscal year, which begins July 1st, while the Senate budget plan comes in at $87.3 billion. The bills now go to the full House and Senate for approval. House budget and the Senate budget coming to the floor in week five in terms of the total amount of the budget. This is the closest uh, I can remember it in my experience. And I think that um, there are sufficient resources in the budget to bridge the gaps. Much of the budget increase for next year was driven by state spending on hurricane recoveries funding for 30,000 new public school students and an increase in the number of Floridians using Medicaid. A preview of the upcoming River Regatta right after this. First out the door when it matters most. For more than a decade, he's been right there, everywhere. And when American jobs are on the line, he leads the charge. ABC's World News Tonight with David Muir is America's most watched newscast, and we thank you. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. I'll be right back. Okay, so we drowned the fire, yep. stirred it, mm -hmm. drowned it again, mm -hmm. and now just feel if it's cold. Yeah. Cool. Smokey just gave me a bear hug. I know. I already posted it. Zupan, part of the U.S. Paralympic rugby team. In my game, movement is everything. I get frustrated when my move is blocked, especially when that guy has no right to be there, even just for a minute. I love a challenge, but I don't like to play this game every day. 
message from the United Spinal Association. Here's today's job of the day. ABC7 is seeking a multimedia producer for our morning news program. Strong and efficient digital, social media, and writing skills required. Visit mysuncoast.com slash job of the day to apply. The Bradenton area River Regatta returns for its fourth year Saturday, and they're expecting a record crowd. Public safety officials estimate 100,000 people could attend the massive racing event on the Manatee River tomorrow. Some new additions to this year's festivities include a Ferris wheel in Palmetto. And due to popular demand, the Green Bridge will stay closed to traffic all day so that people can watch the fireworks show that starts just before 7 p.m. If you stand on the bridge and look down and watch the races, you stay long enough, you can look up and see the fireworks. You don't necessarily need to be on a boat to get the best seat in the house. With the bridge being open, I mean, they could literally be close enough to get the, uh, the mist from our watercraft driving by. To ease any anxiety about parking, SRQ Trolley has signed on to run a free shuttle service across the bridges and through both Bradenton and Palmetto starting at 1030 tomorrow morning. And a reminder for those taking public transportation this weekend, Manatee County Area Transit announcing changes to Saturday routes as a result of the regatta. The annual event will impact MCAT routes 1, 13, and 201. Those routes are also known as the North County Connection. There will also be interrupted service on 8th Avenue West in Palmetto all day Saturday. But again, the weather's supposed to be great tomorrow, so it should be an awesome event on the Manatee River. Yes, and of course, the Super Bowl on Sunday. Be a lot of people looking forward to that one. I think I'll be watching. Yeah. Okay, yeah. World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We'll see you again at 11. Have a good night and a great weekend. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. In life after the military, it's our duty as veterans to have each other's back. I'm retired Colonel Greg Gatson, and it's my mission to help you get the benefits and services you've earned. If you need to file a VA claim, remember these important steps. Submit an online claim through ebenefits.va.gov. Work with an accredited veteran service organization or VSO. And if you need to attend a VA claim exam, please go. Visit this website to learn what to expect. It's me, Artie. Come see what I collected from the Creative Galaxy in my idea box. Transform your world. Will you help me make art? Each one of our journeys keeps us Before you throw it away. Hey, I have an idea. Think outside the box. We'll never get older. Each one Go of be amazing. amazing! Give your cardboard box another life. Recycle. My California Closets designer is a rock star. She was able to design the most beautiful space for me. When I turn the lights on, it's breathtaking. La! It's just a little slice of organized heaven. The California Closet team was so professional, so reliable. It was seriously a dream come true. My name is Jill, and this is my California Closet story. You got a king? Go fish! Oh, yeah.
It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today.